okay i'm not crying i'm eight months away from the same age that my mom suddenly passed away not that that's gonna happen to me but it What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy, back with another finger. <sighs> I, I was talking to somebody online, and I was talking to them. I don't know, it's just some people you feel like you connect with. And I know this particular person, I just felt the need to share my story. Because I don't tell everybody that, you know, I vlog and that I've shared every part of my life on YouTube. It's just not something I want to share with everybody. But this particular person, I don't I don't know why, you know, I decided to share that that part of my life with them. And typically I don't. And then I was, you know, talk to them. This person's story is not my story to tell, so I'm not gonna give any details about this person. But I just felt connected to them for some weird reason. And they asked about my life. I said, oh, I'm the last surviving member of my family. And then I was sitting there thinking. And I was like, maybe I'll break the mold. Because I was like, they don't live long. Historically, they don't live long in my family. I said, I might break the mold or I don't. And I know Patty LaBelle, she lost most of her members and her, her family. I think from diabetes or whatever. And so she thought that she would be like her siblings and stuff. But she has, you know, outlived them all and doing wonderful. So maybe that's my story. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But, you know, I'm doing what I can. Trying to um, be a little more mindful of what I put into my body. Trying to exercise more. I'm so out of shape. Just because I'm slim, it doesn't mean I'm in shape. Oh, just get long, y'all. Y'all know I get a little chatty. Oh, I'm sorry. But if you're still here, good. Thank you. I love you for that, sis. Love you. And I just broke down and cried in a car. I mean, it was a cry, but I had to stop myself because, you know, if I cry, my eyes get puffy for days, for a minimum of two days. So I let it out for like, ooh, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. I let it out good. And then I had to stop. I had to stop. Um, and it, it's a thought that runs through my mind is that I am, I'm eight months away. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, I'm not crying. I'm eight months away from the same age that my mom suddenly passed away. Not that that's gonna happen to me, but it's a thought, you know, that, you know, will I surpass her age? My sister didn't live past 40. My brother didn't live past 40. Um, I don't really know too much about my biological father, so I'm not going to speak on that. And then, I'm only eight months away from being the same age as my mom, when she suddenly passed away. So, it just, you know, makes me think about it. And her birthday is coming up soon. And I can say I don't really think about my mom as much as I used to. You know, when she first passed away. When she first passed away, it was hard. I was messed up for three years. Three years. Sudden death is terrible. So, it's just a thought. So I was like, Joy, you better get, get your butt in this house. Clean up your room and get your butt right on the treadmill. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing. So, um, you know, it just made me think about it. But, like I said, I, you know, I could surpass all of them. But when I promise tomorrow, I mean, healthy people, you know, die from heart attacks. I mean, look at, um... There was this famous runner, Flojo, I think her name. She always had the best nails. I don't know where she passed away, heart attack. Best shape of her life. So you're not promised tomorrow. And my new friend was like, you know. 
she was like god will you take you away you have too much you have too much left to do and i do feel that way but who knows who knows i still feel like i have more to do and more of an impact i need to make on other people All right, y'all, I'll be changing my sheets today. <laughs> and then um, after I get this done, I'm gonna get on the treadmill probably for 30 minutes or 40 minutes. I'm gonna watch a movie and nothing too strenuous. Get the heart rate up a little bit. Um, another thing I do, I do take aspirin. Um, I take aspirin several times a week, baby aspirin for my heart. I don't I don't have any heart problems, but you know, I take them. Um, mom passed away from a sudden heart attack. My aunt, a sudden heart attack. So, so that's why I was like, mm. Look, I can't see my bottoms on the camera. So, well, that's all I wanted to say. I know I already talked too long already. I told you for 2020, I'm trying to get these videos a little shorter. <laughs> and so maybe I'll have a challenge. So maybe I'll do a challenge. go to the gym every day to go to the gym every day and tell my mom birthday that's what I'll do do a running challenge so her birthday is um, February 8th Bobby's birthday is February 1st wait is my mom's birthday February 8th or February 3rd no it's February 8th <laughs> it's been a long time y'all yeah so maybe I'll do that challenge that I could do for her have to be a long run I could stick to you know 15 20 minutes you know then you sprint walk sprint walk so I'll set that challenge for myself so it was almost a 30 day challenge to run every day for her I think I'm gonna do it it's the least I could do for all the sacrifices she made for me and getting up and working hard making sure I had you know the basics and so on and so forth she was really nice she was she was really nice and very easy going with me anyway I'll go off on a tangent y'all let me finish this fruit <laughs> and hang my clothes up some people like to see it clean with me but I would say my room is not that dirty but if you want to stick around you know I'll speed up at the end you can see you can watch or you can log off <laughs> so I got my towel for my run 
and before I run and before I run child I'll be popping these eyelashes off but then I have to take Bobby to practice I have to take her and her friend to a basketball clinic which is far and I might go to the gym tonight I don't know what time they close tonight but it'll be before eight but I have papers I need to grade I do maybe I'll, I'll try <laughs> every time I bring stuff home to grade it comes home never leaves the bag and it goes right back to school and I know I did that um, little workout um I'm cold y'all I'm always cold I always start out with my hoodie <laughs> And then I take it off. Oh. Woo. So. I know y'all saw my ratchet workout clothes. They clean. They just ratchet. So. Maybe I'll buy some pants or something. And I need sneakers. New running sneakers. So. I don't know. Maybe I'll go look for some inexpensive running sneakers and some running pants i like the bootleg um i like the bootleg um yoga pants that's what i like i don't know i don't like the the tight ones and then as i'm waiting for bobby and to come out of her practice you know i could grade papers there so i don't know maybe i'll look for a little starbucks or i sit in my car oh it's a little cold i don't know but you know, I always have something I could do. So I'll, maybe I'll commit to that and not edit a video. Whatever it is for you. Until next time.